now. Excuse me. Yes, madame. I've been here for hours. When can I see Mr. Garvey? Oh, very soon, I expect, madame. Look, you better watch out, you people. You simply can't hold me here much longer. I demand to see someone senior. You see the examining magistrate in the morning. I'll have something to say to him. And I'll make sure your chief constable knows about you. Be certain of that. You've been lying to us. Lying? What do you mean? Not too difficult to check with Strasbourg. There was no all-night sitting of the European Parliament this week. There was no afternoon session to follow. So where were you the night before last? And the following day till you caught the ferry? I'm afraid I must refuse to answer. Refuse? I think again, Mr. Garvey. The charge could be murder. All right. I stayed the previous night in Strasbourg with a friend, you understand? Her apartment. Name and address, please. I read I can't give you that. She is also a Euro MP. And don't ask me which country. With no name, there's no alibi. You'll just have to take my word for it, won't you? And please, will you not tell my wife? You are either very arrogant or very stupid. Or both. You are now. How oh, terrible. I'm afraid I have to lock you in. cigarette. I don't smoke anymore. Don't you? I gave up months ago. Of course you did. Sorry. Now, this star shows the unexpected happening, not that I foresaw, but I should have noted it was closer to the ulna. A progressive sign. I mean, when you put it all together, she was in for one big shock. Now, oh... Gladys, 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 we wondered if you might have remembered who the dead girl was. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yvette. Poor Yvette. You do know her? Oh, well, I wrote her name on the back. Anything else? Uh, yes. When I looked at the palm print again, I remember she said she lived in the old quarter of Lille. Is that all? No, not quite. Because she's Pisces, she laughed about her concierge's goldfish. I don't know what she meant. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Madame Garvey would like a word. My husband's lawyer will be here in a couple of hours. Very well, madame. But I need somewhere to stay. That's up to you, Mrs. Garvey. I'm Gladys Moon. Could I be of help? Yes, yes, I'm coming. Police, we are making inquiries about Yvette. May we come in? Huh. What's that Mickey Mouse thing? A uh, British police, madame. Uh, has anything happened? She hasn't been home for two days. She's dead. May we see her room? I'll 
dreadful. husband being held as a murder suspect. Oh, God. Have a little cognac. You need a bracer. All right. How is it you know the police so well? Oh, I've helped them in the past. Through your clairvoyancy. <laughs> and a few other humble cosmic skills. I occasionally point them in the right direction. And this time... I knew the dead girl as a client. Did she ever mention my husband? Oh, I only saw her once, um, about two months ago. This girl, what was she like? Oh, young, redhead. Like you? Well, mine comes out of a bottle nowadays, sadly, but oh, she was beautiful. I read her palm. It was strong. Soft. Is he a therapist? In a hospital? She did work in a hospital, but lately she had a new job in a private clinic. Uh, you know where? No, monsieur. She did mention it, but uh, it slipped my mind. She did work shifts, in and out at odd hours. That's why I wasn't worried when she hadn't shown up since Tuesday. What about her social life? How should I know? Visitors? Boyfriends? If she had any, she didn't bring them here. Anyhow, I don't spy on my tenants. Have you ever seen this man? No. Can you tell us anything else about her? Not really. Everybody here keeps their privacy. She paid her rent regularly and stuck to the rules. Beyond that, you never said how she died. She may have been murdered. Oh, my God. No, uh, you didn't see her picture in the paper and on television? My sight isn't so good. Very expensive. That's it. What is it? Chateau Salub. Where she worked. The wholesome chateau? Very good. Not so much a private clinic as a very exclusive health club. Ça va? So, the hearing is today? Yes. Feels like a nightmare. Uh, I think we'd better get over there. Glad it's gone with her. Yeah. She thought she ought to lend some support. I don't know, Mrs. Annabel Garvey. Strikes me as cool county, tough as an old riding saddle. Oh, that's rather indelicate, Trevor. It was.